Americans across the country celebrated Christmas on Saturday, many with empty chairs at dinner tables, amid mounting concerns from the quickly spreading Omicron variant. The dangers posed by the latest coronavirus variant kept many families apart, cancelled thousands of flights and led to a new round of restrictions across the globe as the pandemic was on the cusp of stretching into a third year. As of Saturday, the Omicron variant accounted for 73.2% of new COVID-19 infections in the nation, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported. The week ending December 11, it accounted for only 12.6% of new cases. States including Delaware, Hawaii, Massachusetts, New Jersey and New York have reported a record number of cases, the most since the pandemic began, according to a USA Today analysis of data from John Hopkins University. New restrictions rolled out in countries across the world. European countries such as France barred large outdoor gatherings on New Year's Eve. Denmark shuttered theaters and museums and banned the sale of alcohol after 10 p.m. Spain reinstated its mask mandate and barred non-essential activities in some areas. Many U.S. churches cancelled in-person services, but for those that did have in-person worship, clerics reported smaller but significant attendance. Our hopes for a normal Christmas have been tempered by Omicron this year, still filled with uncertainties and threats that overshadow us, the Reverend. Ken Bowler told his parishioners during midnight mass at the Church of St. Francis Xavier in New York City. Breakthrough used to be a happy word for us, until it was associated with COVID, and in the midst of it all, we celebrate Christmas. A police chief in a small North Carolina town has been placed on unpaid leave because he reportedly told officers about a clinic where they could get COVID-19 vaccination cards without actually being vaccinated. The Biden administration will leave. But researchers also cautioned that at least some of this reduction is likely a result of high population immunity in the country. Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for USA Today's free Coronavirus Watch newsletter to receive updates directly to your inbox and join our Facebook group.